my YouTube channel, I am actually uploading this very first video on January 1st, 2021, which means it's New Year's Day. So happy New Year. To start, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am an empty nester, a mom of three. I live in Phoenix, Arizona with my husband, Steve, uh, our dog, Izzy, and our cat, Dexter. I, a couple of months ago, I retired from a 30 year state government career. And that life change has really given me the opportunity to just spend more time and energy on the things that I love, like sewing and cooking and crafting, knitting, painting, you name it. If it's a craft, I've probably tried it. I also, like I said, I love to cook. I love to try new recipes. Uh, I love seasonal living and decorating. I love entertaining. And I have a passion for sharing the things that I learn with others. I named my channel Marla Makes because I come from a long line of makers and bakers and people who have really inspired me to be a maker myself. And this channel is going to give me the opportunity um, to really showcase those things that I've learned. I am a YouTube watcher. I have watched so much YouTube over the years and I've learned so much from the YouTube that I've watched. And I'm really hoping that my content is gonna be a place where you can learn something new too. So with that in mind, I have a very simple craft for us today. It's a scrapbook paper craft. It's a good one. I think you're really gonna like it. So let's get started. Today, we're going to be making these cute little scrapbook paper pillow boxes. I'm sure if you're, if you're a crafter at all, you probably have lots of scrapbook paper in your stash that you'd love to find a, a use for. I know I do. And I love to make these little boxes. Um, they're so easy. You can make them in lots of different sizes depending on um, the item that you're wanting to actually put in the box. If you have something that's wider, one like this would work. Um, this actually holds a, uh, a Hershey candy bar in this size box, which is really cute. So it doesn't really matter uh, what the item is. If it's small and something that you can make with a piece of scrapbook paper, you can make this happen. So today what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make a box for this uh, gift card. This is the size that it ends up being. It fits right inside this little box. Really cute. The measurement for this card is six and a half by five and a half is what you need. And let me explain how you do that so you know how to measure uh, whatever item you're going to have. <clears throat> this card is two inches on the short side and about three and a half on the on the longer side, but we need extra in order to accommodate um, the ability to get in and not have it be tight. So with this two inch side, let's talk about that first. We need at least an extra inch so it can move around inside the box. And then we need to double it because it needs to go all the way around the box. In addition to that, we need a half an inch on the edge to be able to um, place double-sided tape to secure it together. So if you look at this one, we've got, hopefully you can see it, we have these indentations here at the three inch mark and then at the six inch mark that gives us that half an inch um, turn under there. So the next thing we're gonna do is add this embossing line just to help us uh, turn our box. You don't need, need to have an embossing line. You can certainly just um, crease it with your fingers, but it helps to make it a little, um, a little cleaner edge with an embossing tool. This is an embossing tool here. You might have this, you might not. If you don't, a trick in how to do embossing without this tool is just use a regular pen that has run out of ink. It has a sharp edge as well and can be used as an embossing tool um, just kind of the same way as this tool would if you don't have it. The other trick is there are embossing mats, um, but if you don't have an embossing mat, you can actually use your paper cutter. So this is how I cut this piece to six and a half by five and a half. 
but you can also use it to do your embossing. All you have to do is just move the blade out of the way, place the paper uh, in your in your box here or uh, on the line. So there's an indentation here that does the cutting on the blade, but it can also do embossing. So this is our six and a half inch size. We're gonna move and make um, marks at the six inch mark. Let's use our embossing tool since we have it. You just wanna press lightly. You want it to make a mark, but you don't, this is paper, so it will cut through if you push too hard. So don't push so hard that it actually um, cuts the paper. And then we wanna do the same at the three inch mark. So when we take this off, we have our two embossed lines on our paper. So we're done with our paper cutter. We can move that out of our way. We'll go ahead and fold our paper on these two lines. Just again, it just gives a crisp edge to your, to your little project. Next, we need to do the outer edge and the inner edge. And the way we do that is we use a dessert plate. Place your dessert plate. If you have a board like this, it really helps to line up um, the paper just so you know it's straight. Uh, if you could just use any kind of a straight edge, that will work. But you wanna put your plate on the paper, allow a little bit of edge there so you know where you're gonna be drawing your line. You can either use a blade and just cut that edge if you have a, a, a mat and a blade, but if you don't, you can always just draw a line with your pen and just use scissors to cut it. So let's go to the other side, do the same. We're gonna line it up so that we know it's straight. We're gonna add our plate and our line. Next, we're just gonna take our scissors and cut this edge. You do wanna cut inside your pen line just so that it doesn't show, but this project is really forgiving. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just paper. Just do the best you can. So we're gonna cut around this edge. And then next, we're gonna do the same, except we're gonna do the inside edge. So this, need, we need our plate in reverse. And the trick here is you need to have the plate at the edge of your paper. So we're gonna bring our plate in until it matches the edge. You don't wanna use your pen this time because you don't want it to show. So you need to use either the embossing tool or your pen that has no ink. So you can see it has the, the embossed edge there. We're gonna do that on all four sides this time. Hold your plate down so your paper doesn't move. Draw along the embossed line, turn it over, do the same on these two sides. One more here and we'll have all four sides done. We'll line it up so that it's straight. Draw your embossed line. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the adhering it together. You want, first thing you wanna do is cut off these points. You don't need them. They actually get in the way, so it's good to just trim those off. And the next thing we're gonna do is add our adhesive. I use this double-sided tape. I actually buy it uh, at Dollar Tree. The package looks like this. So it's just a dollar and you get quite a bit here. Um, but any double-sided tape will work. Even, you know, even a glue gun would work but you just wanna cut a piece of tape about the length you need. <clears throat> Put it as close to the edge as you can. You're wanting this box to uh, fold nicely. So you want it to be at your inner edge as close as you can. Trim off any excess on the end. Sometimes it's hard to get this uh, layer of, this top layer that go, is on top of the double-sided tape, but just use your blade or your finger, whatever you need to do. Okay, we're gonna fold it back down, close up our box, 
and tape it together. Next, all we have to do is just curve down the edge like this. Curve down the opposite edge here like that. And then you have your box. The last thing we want to do is add some embellishment to our box so we can create what is called a belly band. Let's see if this piece will wrap around. I think it will. So I'm just gonna cut about an inch strip of coordinating paper. And what that's gonna do is just allow some little bit of decoration, as you can see on the ones I made over here. Fold that over and then tape it in the back. Let's see where we go. We need it on this side. Remove the backing of your tape and close it up. There you go, so cute. You can add a sticker as you can see what I've done here. I've added little stickers on to the different boxes. This is a holiday box. Um, would be really cute as a party favor. Uh, to give to gifts or these or this little one actually would be nice as well There you go So that's it I hope you give this one a try and let me know how yours turns out Before we go I have a little tip on storing them just flatten out the pillow boxes stack them together and place them in a plastic bag that way they won't get dusty and damaged before you have the chance to use them I plan to upload a new video every Friday, so hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified each time I do. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this is my very first YouTube video, so I obviously have zero subscribers <laughs> at this point, so I certainly would appreciate your support. Next week, we're gonna be doing a really easy sewing project. So if you have a sewing machine that maybe has been in a closet that you haven't used in a long time, this would be a great time to get that out. Do a little sewing practice and uh, produce a useful product in the end. You'll have to come back and see what that's gonna be. So until then, thank you so much for watching. Take care and make it a great day. Bye-bye.